Hi, I'm going to talk about an image processing brain-like intelligence, which is basically my own approach to the whole concept of brain-like intelligence. So beforehand, I need to mention that in this short video, I'm not really going to dig into theoretical stuff, and I'm not going to discuss different approaches, but instead, I just want to keep it short and show you the result of my research. So as soon as you open up the application, it starts to capture the environment through a webcam, uh, focusing on different objects, from the environment is done by motion detection algorithms. So this simply means that any object that is moving in the environment is the target of this application. So here I execute the application, and at the beginning we have a uh, regulation period. This means the webcam uh, tries to regulate itself and the picture that it captures uh, to the to the lighting of the environment. So capturing the images and understanding objects becomes more accurate. Then I'm showing my face and I try to rotate it so the application can see different side of, sides of my face and capture it and remember it as a session. So I'm going to say this is a human and store it. So it's time to bring up another object. Well, after the regulation period finishes, it's going to see this object and I'm going to move this object so the computer can capture it and remember it as a session. And, uh, well, I'm going to associate a name to it. And I say, this is a pen. And I store the information. So I bring up another object, which is a cop. I try to uh, rotate it. So obviously the computer can see different sides of this object and remember it as a session. So then I associate a name to it and I say that this is a cop and I store the information. Now I'm doing another test. I just pulled off my glasses and obviously I'm the same human so it has to be able to understand me. So I'm uh, moving my head, uh, the computer captures different instances of my face. And if it happens to not understand it, and I repeat it, as I say, you knew the human, now I'm saying this is a human again. So it says I made a mistake and I'm trying to change the strategy. So it changes the strategy to minimum. And now I put a hat. Uh, so this is the same human with the hat. So it has to still be able to understand this as a human. So let's see. Well, of course, it's a human. Once I, I think this is a human. Well, uh, I'm, I'm showing another pen, which the computer hasn't seen yet. So the pen is a pen still. It doesn't matter if it's a different object. It's still a pen has the certain specifications. So it has to be able to understand that this is a pen. And yes, it can understand that this is a pen. Now I'm bringing up another cop, another color, another shape, but a cop is still a cop. So it has to be able to understand that this is a cop. So let's see what happens. And yes, I was able to understand that this is a cop. Thank you for watching.